I'll show you how to add a data map to a PowerPoint presentation using the Engage add-in. But first, I just want to make sure that you have the Engage tab selected here at the top. And from there, you can click on Data Maps. And here you'll see a wide selection of data maps by country, by continent, um, by uh, country, by state. So I'll go ahead and select the United States by state, and I'll click Insert. So you'll notice the data map appear, as well as a window dialog box, uh, which will let me edit my data map. And so the first thing I want to do is edit the data. Um, so every data map, uh, like every infographic, is tied to an Excel embedded worksheet, which lets me update the data of the map. So in this case, I see Alaska has a value of zero. So if I update this to a value of 100, um, it will automatically update my data map. Um, so what this lets me do is in column A, I have uh, all the states. And uh, in column B, I have values. Uh, in this case, values can represent anything. It might represent um, the GDP by state. It might represent uh, average temperature by state. Um, so once I've made my changes to uh, this data set, I can go ahead and uh, just close it. There's no need for me to save it because it automatically gets saved uh, uh, as an embedded file in the PowerPoint presentation. So I'll go ahead and close this. And you'll notice Alaska will change to a darker color. Uh, there it goes, uh, because of the higher value that I've added. Um, there are other options here as well. I can change uh, the color of the entire data map. Um, I can also change the uh, minimum values to a different color as well, uh, just to show uh, more contrast. Um, uh, or I can go back to um, a white color for the minimum value. Um, and then the other option I have is uh, the range. So right now the range is auto, but if I were to select a fixed range, um, I could make this uh, 75. So any state that had a value above 75 would now fall out of range, uh, or any state that uh, was blank where uh, no value was entered would also be out of range. And I can add more contrast uh, to the out of range color by selecting it and adding a darker gray here. Um, and finally, uh, I can click on the legend button and I'll show the legend. I will update the title of the data. So maybe this, I can call this GDP by state. I'll do that. And uh, I'll just go back and um, click auto for the max uh, fill range. Um, okay, so once that's done, I can go ahead and close this. Um, I can move this around. I can move um, the legend as well. And um, I should mention that if ever you want to go back to that uh, data map uh, dialog window to update the data map, uh, you simply have to click on it. And then you'll notice these two gears appear. Uh, this will bring up um, the uh, dialog box. And if I close this, um, just like every infographic, every data map is built using standard PowerPoint shapes which means that uh, even if you send this presentation to someone that doesn't have the Engage um, add-in installed on their machine, uh, they'll still be able to view it and they'll still be able to edit it, um, though they won't be able to edit using um, these gears and this dialog window and the engine, of course, but they'll be able to manually edit it uh, if they wish. Uh, so for example, they can select on this state uh, and they can change the color fill to whatever um, they like. Um, that is data maps.